Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another military ration taste test. Today, I'm going to be tasting this. Ta -da! This is a 24 hour ration and it comes from Turkey. This was sent to me by MRE Mountain, so big thanks to them for sending this to me. Apparently, this is a rare MRE and based on its packaging, it looks like it's a civilian MRE. So it's made by Tada Outdoor and here's the back. So this says it's a menu one meal ready to eat ration pack and it does contain what looks to be a chemical kind of flameless ration heater style heating pack and it tells you the directions right here in English. So it's broken up into three meals. There is the breakfast, lunch, and dinner or dinser and it tells you what should be for each meal. So I'll go ahead and break that down. So it looks like for breakfast we have string cheese, we have some kind of black olive. So we have some tea, some tortillas. For lunch, we have physics pilaf and a protein bar, coffee, some soup. And for dinner, we have a chicken pilaf, tomato soup, dried fruit, and hot chocolate. Sounds good to me. So right off the bat, the packaging looks very sturdy. It includes a grommet in the corner, which I appreciate. So you could kind of hook it from something if need be, if you had a carabiner of some sort. And the top part looks like it's gonna become some kind of a Ziploc. Not much to tear with, but it looks, oh, that didn't work at all that well. I'm cut off the top here. I'm trying not to damage the zipper seal. So we could theoretically reuse this bag. Okay, got it open, but it didn't open cleanly, sadly enough. So I won't be able to reseal it. Well, so I said I liked that grommet, but now it's making it difficult to get everything out. So maybe I don't like it. Oh, okay. So we've got an accessories pack here, some water purification tablets. This is a Unifood MRE heater bag. We have three Unifood hot beverage bags. This is buckwheat rice with chicken. So this I think is our dinner meal. Protein bar, decaffeinated coffee. Not sure if I approve of it being decaf, but last. Maybe for dinner, decaf would be better. Uh, we have some dried fruit, some dried string cheese, that's for our breakfast. Tomato sauce, pepper paste. I'm not sure what that is. Akuna. Oh, we have another main. This is the roast beef and chickpea. Here is hot chocolate. Oh, here's the tomato soup. Uh, here's a yogurt soup. Ooh, look at this. Nice tube of honey. Like that. Ooh, look at this. Here's a big, oh, here's some tortillas. Oh, so here is the chemical pack that goes into the bottom of the ration heater. So this is great, they give you three of these. So this ration heater bag is reusable. So you use this multiple times and they give you three of these little packets to place in the bottom. So you reuse this bag, which I like. Ouch, I was working in my chicken coop yesterday and gave myself a terrible scratch on chicken wire. Not such a bad scratch, just in a really bad spot. I'm constantly scraping it. It's Alrighty, so let me organize everything so I can get everything separated as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is supposed to include olives, but instead of olives, I got this little pack of what looks to be something that has tomato. It says akuka. So I'll put that with breakfast. And let's go ahead and open up our little accessories pack. Two spoons, three beverage stirs, sugar, tea bag, couple salt and peppers. I'm guessing these are wet naps. And gum, another sugar. And this looks like it might be chili pepper. Okay, so because it's gonna take some time, let's go ahead and purify some water. This is desalination, but then it says purification. Clear or dirty water, you can filter it. And then you add one tablet. It says specifically, do not eat the tablets or not food. You shake it well and then you wait 30 minutes. Sounds pretty straightforward and typical. It smells like chlorine. It smells like a swimming pool. So pop that in there. 
Okay, we'll give that a shake and then we'll wait 30 minutes. So I'll just set that aside and then I'll drink this at the very end. Alrighty, so before I have my breakfast, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my ration heater because it does take a few minutes for this to heat up. The outside feels like foil paper, but the inside is actually lined with plastic. Next, we're gonna open the heater pack. Here it is, it comes in this kind of meshy bag, looks very similar to the ones that you see in the flameless ration heater. Okay, so we're gonna place that in the bag. I'm gonna heat up my lunch entree, which is the rice with roasted beef and chickpea. Pop that into there. Now I'm gonna add 100 milliliters of water, which is a little bit more than one third of a cup. So add that in there. And then I'm gonna seal it up and let that sit for 10 minutes. Reacting. I don't feel any heat. Usually the reaction is pretty immediate. Hmm. Usually the reaction is immediate. And I can hear fizzing, but I'm not hearing anything. Nor am I feeling anything. All right, I'm gonna set this aside for a couple minutes and see what happens if this is a dud. I will use, oh no, now I'm hearing it. Can you hear that? All right, this is definitely happening. It's starting to inflate and I can feel the heat. Good, so I'm gonna clean up with my little napkin here. Ooh, I like that the wet nap, oh, it's about the same size. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it's not. It's made out of this kind of same stretchy baby wet material. Ooh, and it's lemon fresh joy smell, my favorite, love that. I've got a Lipton's yellow label tea bag right here. Same as we have here in the US. Just This is interesting. We're going to have this and this is dried string cheese. Wow, look at this. It's like moon cheese. Have you seen I did that video, gosh, probably 3 or 4 years ago where I had freeze-dried cheese and it was called moon cheese. This is what this looks like. When it said dried string cheese, I was imagining like the stick string cheese, not these little balls of string cheese. It smells great. It smells like cheddar cheese. Let's give that a go. <laughs> That's a really delightful crunch. The flavor, definitely cheesy and salty, a little bit tangy, pretty subtle on the cheese flavor though. It tastes a little bit more like farmer's cheese or Monterey Jack cheese with a little extra tang. Yeah, not bad. Let's try it with some tortilla. So I'm gonna take out my tea bag. It says Lavas Tortillas. Pretty big pack for an MRE. Oh, so for all this packaging, the tortillas are actually quite small. Look at that. There's some desiccant in there. There's four of them in there and they're pretty tiny. Now this didn't contain any olives, but it did contain this packet here of akuka. And when I translated it, it said it has tomato in it. So I think it's some kind of spread to add to this. And it also included a bit of honey, which we can have as well. I love this little tube of honey, so stinking cute. So the tortillas are very soft. They smell like store-bought tortillas. A little bit soury, floury. Alrighty, so let's give this a taste. And it is a tomato-based spread. Turkish friends do let me know if I'm doing something wrong here. I'm sure that is very probable. Itadakimasu. Mm. The tortillas taste exactly like the tortillas that you would find in the US MRE and very, very similar to store-bought tortillas. Pretty soft, pretty tender, pretty processed. The sauce that they provide is pretty nice. It's really richly tomato flavored, kind of like tomato paste. It's got some garlic in there. And then you've got the big crunchy cheese, which is fun. I actually like the texture of it. The flavor of the cheese is pretty subtle. Like I said earlier, it's a little bit more tangy with a slightly cheesy dairied flavor to it. But the texture is really fun. I like that contrast of crunch with kind of soft tortilla. Yeah, not bad, a little dry though. Okay, so now let's have a tortilla with a bit of honey. So we'll just squirt, oh my gosh. I love that this is resealable and that you can apply as much honey as you'd like. I'm just gonna fold that in half. 
Here we go. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah. I've actually never had honey with a tortilla before, but it's pretty good, especially if you have it with a nice cup of hot tea. Everything's better with hot tea. Oh my gosh. Mm. That makes for a pretty good snack, actually. Did you know that they send NASA astronauts up with tortillas, specifically not bread, because tortillas don't make crumbs? Because crumbs are a bad thing when there's no gravity. You don't want crumbs floating around and plugging up vents and stuff. Did you know that? Yeah, tortillas, very handy. So my ration heater is heating up away and I'm going to go ahead and heat up some water as well. So this package says that we can add a glass of water to this and place it in the heater to warm up water for our beverages. I like the fact that this ration heater is freestanding. I don't have to lean it up on a rock or anything. Smart. And this looks like this is gusseted as well. So this will make it much easier to fill. It's about 200 milliliters, it said. And zip that up. I'm gonna take my ration out. And I'm gonna put my water bag in there. So for my coffee, oh, look at this. So the coffee actually is a filter. This is cool. So I tear the top of this open like that. And then I stretch this open. Look, there are the coffee grounds. Turkish take their coffee seriously. Love this. You stretch it over your, oh my gosh, I love that. That's so great, look at that. So while my water is boiling, let's go ahead and taste our entree. Now this is the rice with roasted beef and chickpea. This smells delicious, look at this. Wow, that is a big portion of food. My hot water is ready, now I'm gonna pour it. It smells so, so good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make my yogurt soup. So to this, I'm supposed to add 175 milliliters of hot water. Whoa, got yogurt <laughs> soup mix everywhere. I'm surprised that this doesn't contain any dry napkins. Usually rations contain some sort of tissue or something, but not in this one. Add my hot water quickly. It smells like it's got some dill in there and some onion. Ooh. Mm, very interesting. It doesn't taste exactly yogurty, but it's definitely got a tang to it and very dilly. It reminds me of dill pickles a bit. Quite salty. The texture is pretty thin. I think I might add a little less water if I were to make this again. It is a soup after all. Not bad. Alrighty, let's try this. This looks absolutely amazing. This is Fudik rice with chickpeas and beef. Super hearty, huge portions. Let's give this a bite, here we go. Mmm, mmm. I like that. This combination of rice and protein together reminds me a lot of the entrees in my Russian rations that I've tasted. Delicious, very, very flavorful, fatty and meaty. Mm hmm. Very good, hearty meal. The chickpeas are tender and full of protein. And you've also got the protein rich beef in there, of course, which is also very flavorful. Mm hmm. This is very well seasoned and salted. In terms of flavor, I taste a little bit of onion, maybe some tomato. But mostly what I get is a very smoky, kind of beefy flavor, very meaty, stick to your ribs meal. Now, let's wash it down with some freshly brewed coffee. Aha, uh -huh. mm. that's good. Granted, it is decaffeinated, but the coffee flavor is much improved than the instant kind of coffee powders. Those taste really kind of fake to me or just not as delicious. This tastes like a cup of brewed Folgers coffee. It's pretty good. I love the whole process of opening the filter and pouring the hot water on top. And mm -hmm. this is definitely better than the freeze dried coffee. Let's try the chickpea and beef stew with rice with some of this. And I'm anticipating this is gonna be some kind of chili powder. 
and I'm a big fan of heat, so let's add some of that on there. It doesn't have a strong smell at all. Mm hmm. Adds just a little bit of heat in there. Nice little spicy kick. Now let's polish our lunch meal off with this. And this is a cookies and cream protein bar. Ooh, look at that. That looks very dense. Let's give this a break. Cookies and cream, I was imagining it being kind of white with little flecks of Oreo. This is definitely not that. It smells a little bit coconutty, a little bit cocoaed. All right, let's give that a go. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Let's have some coffee. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely better with coffee. That's a pretty tough protein bar. It's pretty firm. The texture's a little bit crumbly. And the flavor actually tastes more of coconut, more of like coconut oil rather than any kind of cookies and cream flavor. It is sweetened and it's supposed to taste like a cookie or a dessert, but. Yeah, not exactly delicious, but if you need some energy and you need something portable, this definitely will do the job. Alrighty, let's move on to dinner. So I went ahead and put a new heater pack in there and 100 milliliters of water along with the main entree for the dinner. And of course, there's my water heating up in there as well. So it sounds like the reaction is pretty much stopped. Here's my hot water and here is my main entree for dinner. Now this just barely feels warm. It doesn't feel that hot. In terms of heating power, it's pretty similar to a US MRE. So here is the buckwheat with chicken. Another very generous portion. I'm gonna open my soup this time over the bowl. Hot water, which actually just feels kind of warm. So I'm gonna actually add a little less water this time and maybe the soup will have a little bit more body. Now I'm gonna make the hot chocolate. The water. So that doesn't look like it's gonna be enough, so I'm gonna add some additional hot water and use my wooden stirrer to mix it all up. Let's try the soup first. Let's see if it's any better with less water. Here we go. Ooh, that's very salty. So maybe it does need more water. Hmm. That's a very tangy tomato soup, a little bit different than what we might expect here in the US. It's actually quite similar in terms of tanginess to the yogurt soup that I had. But this one, of course, has a tomato flavor to it. Yes, kind of yogurty as well, tomatoey. And there's a little bit of maybe oregano or basil in there. It does taste a little bit like um, marinara sauce. Okay, now let's try the kasha with chicken. Looks like there's some vegetables in here. I see some bell peppers and some peas. This is definitely not as hot as my lunch entree. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It would be even better if it was hotter. If this was really hot, and I think if the fat in here were to heat up in there, it would be even better but that's pretty good. It's not overly salty. It doesn't have any canned flavors at all. The chicken is well cooked and pretty tender and tastes like kind of a packaged chicken stew. It does have that kind of processed flavor to it, but it's not bad for what it is. It's actually quite delicious and very hearty. It tastes very meaty like my lunch entree, very meaty and rich. And in terms of flavor, I taste a little bit of the peas, definitely salt and pepper and a little bit of the bell pepper in there as well. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna add some chili. Mm. Mm. I think this chili is actually more of a seasoning. There's some salt in there as well. Yeah, I like that little added kick. Let's have this hot chocolate, which almost looks more like a dessert. <laughs> and it is. In terms of flavor, it tastes pretty similar to Swiss Miss, sweet and dairy and a chocolate flavor in there, but the chocolate flavor is not all that strong. What is different is that there is a thickener in this. So this is almost like a pudding. It's not as thick as pudding, but definitely thicker in consistency than we would have for a typical hot chocolate here in the US. But yeah, that's fun. I like that thickened texture. It makes it feel more 
nourishing and warm. And this is a dried fruit mix. Oh, it's actually, ooh, like a freeze dried mix. Look at this, interesting. And this looks like freeze dried citrus. Like these are little mandarin orange slices. I've never seen that before. Freeze dried strawberries, my sons and I love. This looks like maybe peaches. All right, let's taste the citrus first. Mmm. It actually tastes more peachy rather than orangey, but maybe that's because it's been with the peach. Let's try the peach. The texture is really light too, kind of just shatters in your mouth. All right, let's try a peach slice. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That might actually be a nectarine. Really nice kind of peachy nectarine flavor. Nice crunch. Mmm. I love freeze dried fruit. Freeze dried fruit really captures the flavors and essence of fruit and intensifies them. And then of course you've got the really great crunchy texture. Let's have a strawberry. Mmm. I think this package might have had a little leak because the fruits aren't as crunchy as they could be. Usually when I have freeze dried fruit, they're so crunchy, almost sponge like. And these have a little bit of a kind of bend to them. So I think a little bit of oxygen got into this pack, but still the fruity flavors are quite good. Let's finish things off with a bit of first gum. I think this is gum. Rather than being kind of like a chiclet or a candy coated gum, this looks like it's just a piece of a stick of gum. It smells pepperminty. Here we go. Hmm. It's actually more rubbery than I thought it was going to be. Still quite soft. Mm -hmm. Very smooth piece of gum. I'm pepperminty, but not really strongly peppered. Actually, the mint flavor is pretty mellow. It's not like overpowering, like boom, menthol mint. Hmm. I like the smooth mouthfeel, but it's very rubbery. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot my water. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it smells terrible. It smells like I just cleaned the bathroom. It smells like chlorine. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It actually doesn't taste as bad as it smells. It just tastes like chlorinated water. Swimming pool water, pathogen free, critter free, chlorinated water. Yes, and I'm sure if you let this air out a bit, after the chlorine's done its work, it would taste even less chlorinated. Alrighty, so there you have it. That was the Tada Turkish 24 hour ration pack. Very comprehensive ration pack with lots of stuff in it. I like the fact that it was kind of divided into each individual meal. So the quality of the entrees was very good. I like the fact that you can reuse this bag and have multiple heaters and keep reusing this bag. Although I have to say I was a bit disappointed on the amount of heat energy that came out of these. I was hoping for a bigger exothermic reaction. The entrees, while they were warm, weren't exactly hot, hot, but the US MREs kind of do a similar kind of thing. But all in all, that was a very fun MRE. Big thanks to MRE Mountain for sending this to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Be sure to check out the military ration playlist. Uh, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>